What time is it? It's science time. All right, let's get started. I've got a balloon and I've got some materials we're going to test. I've got this little bit of confetti stuff. I'm gonna plop down here on the paper so we can see it. And then I also have some pepper that we're gonna bring over here. And I have this aluminum can we'll get to as well. We're gonna take this balloon and we're going to blow the balloon up. Tie it off. And I'm just going to bring it over my paper, nothing happens. I'm gonna bring it over my pepper, nothing happens. I'm gonna bring it right here over my can, nothing happens. So the question is, what if I take this balloon and rub it on my towel? Is it gonna change anything? Can you hear it? <laughs> the paper's reacting to our balloon now. That is peculiar. Let's see if it does anything with the pepper. Did you see that? Did you hear that? Can you still hear it? That is amazing. The pepper literally, oh, <laughs> it's about to make me sneeze, so I apologize for that. The pepper literally jumped off of the paper onto the balloon, and it's all over the balloon now. I wanna do the soda can, but I think we need to clean that up here just a little bit, so let me clean that up really quick. Now we've got all that pepper picked up. We don't have any more pepper problems, but we still have this aluminum can to test, and I wanna give this a try. So I'm gonna set this here, I'm gonna put this balloon over here. It's not responding. Maybe a little bit, no, that's just me blowing the air like that. But I'm gonna take this balloon now, and I'm going to rub it against my towel. Now, wow, whoa, that, look at it responding to this balloon. That was awesome. Question is, what is actually going on? We need to figure this out so we can better understand what's happening to the balloon and to the can. Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you wanna see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY science time.